Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos showing all the positions in my portfolio. I haven't made a video in a couple days because I've been super busy. Um, behind me, you can see that my room is very messy right now. I've been doing a lot of shopping and there's a lot of things on my to-do list, but I wanted to make this video to show you guys an update on my portfolio. Let's get started. So right now my portfolio is worth $89,601.80. In the past year, I am up $12,181.37. Year to date, I am down $2,351.77. On Friday, I forgot to make a video. Well, I didn't forget, I was just too busy. But on Friday, I was up $688.64. And then after hours, I am down $191.12. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $180 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, $9. I'm selling SoFi $7.5 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, $60. I have Amazon $120, $110 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return $46. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return $10. I have a Disney diagonal spread. I bought the Disney $70 call expiring December 19th, 2025, and I'm selling the Disney $100 call expiring October 18th. My total return, I am down $66. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $700. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $80. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $553. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,350. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $166.98. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $20,417.34. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.63. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $6,040.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $86.01. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $7,404. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $163.59. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,111.08. This is a margin account. My margin total is $98,471.92. My margin used is $49,046.92. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $27,425 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $32,587.96. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. 
My annual interest rate is 6.75%. The daily interest I'm paying is $7.33 and I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So not much to talk about here. Just a couple of my positions ex expired. If you watch my previous videos, in them I talked about certain positions that expired on the 9th, which was this past Friday. And my Disney one, I'm surprised. Um, so I had a strike price of $90 for the cash secured puts I was selling, and Disney ended up below $90. So it was like at 85 or something, 85, 86. Um, so now 100 more shares of Disney were added to my portfolio because of that. So as you can see, the number of shares is 400 as opposed to 300 before, right? I had 300 shares of Disney. Now I have 400 shares of Disney, which is fine. I don't mind owning more Disney. I'm fine with that. I think Disney, as long as they make the right decisions, things could go very well for the company, but we'll see. I was at D23 Expo and actually I still am because I'm going today as well, but I've been going to D23 Expo, which is the whole Disney convention where they um, you know, release news about updates to the theme parks, uh, movies, you know, content shows. So a lot of information given out during this event, um, a lot of merchandise being sold, things like that. So a lot of good news coming out about all this new type of content. Um, there's going to be like, for example, I live near Disneyland, um, and there's going to be a new ride um, involving the Avengers and Thanos, and it's going to be at Disneyland California Adventure, um, which is close to where I live. So when that releases in a couple years, I'll definitely try and go on the ride and see how it is. But a lot of new updates, you know, for theme parks around the world, there were, you know, updates for Disney World in Florida, uh, a lot of updates there. So in general, Disney had a lot to say. Um, in regards to news during the D23 Expo. Now, the other positions though, they just expired and I just collected the premium and that's it. So Disney was the only one where it ended up, you know, below the strike price. Uh, so then I have 100 more shares. Um, yeah. So I did have I think some cash secured puts on SoFi as well. However, I chose a strike price of $6 and $6.5 and SoFi ended up above $6.5, barely. It's at $6.63. So because of that, I did not get any more shares added to my portfolio of SoFi. I simply collected the premium and just made some extra money. All right, next week I'll have to decide what do I want to do with my portfolio? Because now, as you can see, I have $27,000 of buying power. So I'll have to decide what do I want to do with this $27,000 worth of buying power? Um, maybe some more covered calls. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's my portfolio right now. Um, and I'll keep on making more updates to let you guys know how things are going with my portfolio uh, moving forward. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you and goodbye.